let's do some basic animation. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make this mallet a little bit smaller by pressing S to scale and put it down. I'm going to do Alt A, whoops, Control A to apply the scale. The other thing I'm going to do as well, just to make life a little bit easier, is I'm going to go back into edit mode, A, A. I'm going to move the hammer, oops, just so the end point or the center point is just the bottom there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate X 90 minus so it sits up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into front view. Now, let's do, I'm just going to make this bang. So what I can do is I'm going to press I to set a keyframe. And I just want to set a rotation keyframe. So we've left it at, at this point here. And then I want one second later. So now we can do 25 frames. Um, actually, so down here it says 20 on um, frame 25. I want frame 25 to be here. I'm going to press I to save the rotation. Now what I can do is down the bottom here is I can set the keyframe. So I want from now on, whenever I press I, I want it to save the rotation. So for instance, if I come down here and move along the timeline, we can see that it moves up and down. Well, down, I'm going to go to 48. I'm going to rotate it back up past that point. I'm just going to press I, and now we can see that it's set a keyframe. Bob. And then nothing happens. So what we can do is here on frame 48, I can go, I want to know what's the next 24th frame. So I can simply go plus 24. Now we know what frame we're meant to be on coming back down. I can auto record uh, whenever I move. So I'm going to tick that on. I'm at right frame 72 now. I'm going to rotate that one back down. And then we go frame 96, back up, and then frame 120, back down. And now what I want to do is I'm going to go to frame zero. And I'm going to copy that location. I can't do it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the top and go into the animation layout. And these are all our keyframes. For now, I am just going to select this keyframe, Shift D to duplicate, and let's move it to frame 144. Where am I? 144. Is that frame 144? It is not. It is frame 145. So while my mouse hovering over here, I'm going to select G minus one frame, enter. So that means at this point at frame 144 is the exact same as frame zero. Now to loop this animation, I'm going to set the timeline to be 143. Okay. Because since frame 144 and frame zero are the same, what will happen is it'll be a slight pause. If I went all the way through, there'll be a pause for one frame and then it'll kick off again. So let's have a look with it repeating. So we can see at this point here, there's nothing. There's no lag. But if I change this to 144, we'll see a brief moment where it stops. It's a little bit more realistic, but We've just got a bit of a rocking motion at the moment. Okay, let's leave that one for Ned.